Hello, everybody, and welcome, or welcome back to Slice and Dice, one of the most underrated strategy roguelikes out there. We are going to be checking out one that caught my eye, Blurst Mode. It's like Cursed Mode, but Blurst, because we start with a couple blessings, and then after every single boss, we get a curse. So it's going to start off where we are very strong, but eventually get weaker and weaker and weaker, and... It is technically an infinite mode, and by technically I mean literally. It is an infinite mode uh, where you keep going until you die. After every time you beat the game, you get one more blessing, and then you theoretically start over from the beginning. Now, because of this is a YouTube series, we're probably not going to like be going infinite or something, even if I do get a win. But I'm curious to see what, starting with a couple blessings, but slowly accruing more and more and more curses is going to look like. Especially on a completed save file. Because uh, we do have the full unlock mode on that we can turn off at any point. But alas, if you don't know what the game is, I mean, you're jumping in a, at a spicy point. But we got five different characters here. They all have their own unique die faces on them. Every couple levels, we're going to get the choice of evolving one of them and changing up what kind of die faces they have. Uh, but holy moly. Yeah, we have the alloy. This is new. New for me. Uh, shield cleave, shield engage, shield cleanse, sh mana gain. So basically... A bunch of single shield faces that have unique modifiers on them, and then the splint. Heal and shield one in a cleave, single cast. Okay, and then everything else is a single cast. Single cast mana, single cast heal. Weird. Very weird. Okay, so what do we want to do? Shrink. All tiny enemies have minus two max HP. Does that just kill the... Does that just kill the thorns? I feel like I have to know, right? I feel like I gotta know. So there's one. Okay, so we pick two out of this list here. The third spell you cast every fight is free. We could probably find a way to abuse the hell out of that by getting like a couple cheap spells and then a giga spell, like a seven damage blast spell. That exists, I know. Uh, that could be kind of fun. An extra reroll is nice. I'm am, I am a reroll boy. I, I, you know, it's... Not a secret about me. I, I very much enjoy that. Bolt. Having Bolt forever is kind of interesting. A 5 damage, 3 mana spell is very good. Normally you can kind of expect like 2 mana for 2 damage. So, so that's really appealing to me. That's very appealing to me. I'm doing it. I know that that could synergize well. Okay, so they can't go lower than 1. Gotcha. So there is indeed a downside there. That will save the splint. Okay, that can kill the thorn without us taking damage because it is ranged. Thorn normally will do five damage back to us. Bonk. And then... Alright, okay. Alright, so we really do start out quite strong. Oh my god, immediate. <laughs> Literally statue on the first possible option when we don't even have items. I'll tell you what, screw it, yes. Here's why. It is a character that is sort of just a big old dumb old meat shield. You can see right here, lots of health. Obviously they have no faces, but they're also very, very vulnerable to great... Oh my god. Uh, wow, we literally can't do this on anybody. <laughs> they're very vulnerable to like great manipulation. On those faces. Alright, I think we just... It, yeah, sure. Do Please, you know, do your nothing and then do it again. Knolls take uh, one less damage from every single attack, so... It's gonna be a little bit uh, tricky to kill with the... God, we're seeing so many X's now because of the... <laughs> because of the statue, but... Anything we can find. I mean, okay, let's be real. <laughs> this isn't going to change much on the statue. We're looking for all X's turn into blank, which is an item that will show up fairly regularly. There's quite a few of them. But I'm excited to try out this mode because we should uh, start to see some of the spicy different items that we normally don't have unlocked. Oh, boy. Do we care about that? We don't have any way to generate shields. Yeah. 
I mean, it's not that we don't. We could also we could shield ourselves. And in fact, we maybe should. Hmm. Bonk. God, that is gnarly. That is so gnarly. Five damage. Three mana. Get out of here. Uh, we've been taking a lot of Scrapper. Like, Scrapper is so good, but we've been taking it all the time. Let's go for a Spellblade. Looks like it's been a, been a little minute here. We're more likely to defend the student, probably, because Splint slowly becomes less useful as the fight goes on. And as the fight goes on, they're more likely to die. Um, well, by the same token, then maybe it's fine. It also... It, the penalty that the bone saves is effectively just, um... Oh, this is a little bit awkward. I'd rather take the mana right now. I don't even... What, 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 what am I bothering with there? Okay. Kill Durette. So, this character makes it so everybody has single use on all their die faces. Which is pretty rough. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. We can't single use. Uh, well, what what are we looking for then? I guess mana. Literally any kind of mana. Rip. Rip. We really need something else. <laughs> we need something else on the statue's die faces. What is this? Choose a curse. Oh, we, oh, we have to choose a curse because that was technically our first boss fight. Okay, so we start with a tier one. Goblins get plus one to all sides for each defeated ally. Nostalgia, that's how they used to be, yeah. Um, after taking damage for the first time each turn, self-shield for one. Ooh, so we have to draft out our curses. Actually, this is really, this is really interesting. It also makes it... I'm glad that I tried... I'm starting with Blurst, because now I now that I see this, you start out with very, very gentle curses. I'm going to go with Nostalgia. So goblins have, like, become different. Add single use and plus one to two right sides. Add Dispel and Drink. Dispel, Drink, and plus one to the middle left side. Remove all traits from the target this fight. Discard all of your potion items. So it's a one-time thing. Huh. That seems good. So that's, like, really good for bosses. That's fun. It's also new. Okay. I like it, I like it, I like it. So then we dis... When you say discard... Do you mean for the fight? Do you mean for the fight? It, seems, it does seem really, really good. Like, these would be the traits that you lose. I'll tell you what, if we lose it, we lose it. Forever. Like, if we lose it forever, we lose it forever. I hope we don't, but what are you gonna do? No point to save the statue. They just really don't matter. Hmm. That becomes a little bit bleh. I'm gonna kill the snake instead, though. That's fine. I'm, I'm not gonna just sit here. Like, is it optimal to keep it? Maybe. Should I keep it? Maybe. Hit me with a... Yep, that's the one. Boom, we can buff this up. Single use. Do it again. We get so much freaking mana, so much freaking overkill. And let me see. It's gone forever? I mean, it is good. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Interesting. When you say discard, you mean discard forever. So the point of that item is to keep it in your backpack until probably like the final boss. But a 
let me tell you, on infinite mode, that situation is going to be even more awkward to find than it already would be. So I, I don't really hate that it's just something I don't have to think about now. Like, let's be honest. I would Final Fantasy it and save that, save all my ethers for the final fight, and just, I just wouldn't use it. So I'm just saving myself from future mockery, honestly. So basically, hell yeah. Uh, Fortel... I feel like I've never taken the seer, so I'll do it. I feel like you're you're the highest likelihood of likely to die and getting the most HP out of it. Alright, because you would get 3 HP. If you died, you'd save 3 HP. If you died, you'd save 2. It's all fine. So the goblins get stronger for every defeated ally now. They also, they do still have flee if alone, so. Maybe we go for like a little bit of a, uh... Hmm. They're both attacking the statue. I couldn't care less about that. <laughs> this, is, this is the time where the statue kind of you, makes you happy in a way. Because that's 20 health that the enemies are sort of just wasting their time doinking with. Mm. Okay. 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 A little awkward. A little very awkward. Oh, no. Oh, no. That did not end up that well. That's what I thought. I thought we would still die anyways. Do we get uh, potentially... Yeah, that's the only save we can do. It's a little awkward because we invested a lot of value into this goblin, and by that I mean I invested the bare minimum of value into that goblin. So it could have been rough. Replace the top side with one damage ranged duplicate. Sure. I love you. I've never used this. See, if we roll it on the statue, is that good? Because if I do it here, this is always value. It's always value. It's an it's always a value of two. If I put it here, there's a good situation where it's only a value of one. You know what I'm saying? Because this will always make the statues die good. If I put it here, I need a 1 and 6 for it to do anything. I need a 1 and 6 for it to do anything here, but I don't really care about this die face. I don't know. Maybe it makes no sense what I'm saying. Maybe you get it, maybe you don't. I've heard that, um... Oh. They're still immune to spell. Am I not on 2.0.2? Uh, I thought I was on 2.0.2. Also, I found this thing. Look at this. Look at this son of a gun. You can uh, go in and say, you know, I'm trying to figure out what face to add plus one to via, like, via this. I'm trying to figure out what face to add plus one to. If I have the choice to either upgrade a, you know, a poison dagger or a uh, mana attack, what's which one's more effective? Oh my god, I picked, like, some of the most tightly effective... Look at that. Holy crap. So, like, basically, one pip of damage from this 
is equal to like the baseline is just one sword. So like uh it's like twice as effective. It's roughly twice as effective as a single damage. Roughly, but like a little bit a little bit more. Two though. Getting up there. It's going up to, to four. Spike spike in a bit. Very exponential. Or not quite exponential, but like very spiked. Just a very fun little tool to play around with. Like this could be really good. I bet you, you know, we would find that that'd be good, that'd be good. It's just, it's just a really neat tool to play around with. Uh, but I found that while looking for the patch notes. Apparently, I think these are going to... Someone said they aren't immune to spells. That must be in a future patch. Not one that's now. Okay. Uh, barrels gotta go. Oops. Bonk. So one of these land directly on that that, then they will uh, die immediately on the X. That's why they died there. Otherwise, they normally would absolutely not. Slime Queen. You know what? We have, um, we have the bone. Berserker's good. Like, Berserker's always good, but when you have the bone, Berserker's better. No penalty for dying on a character that very often will die. Okay, poison on turn one. I like it. Stop it. Okay. I don't like that I'm going to have to defend here. Once each fight. I can't imagine that, that that's going to be worth it. I can only cast MB once a fight. It's it's not going to be worth it then, right? That seems stupid. To do one more damage. Yes, I know that it pays for itself mana-wise, but that's not always the thing that matters the most. I think we take it at this point. Sure. What if we do this? Followed by... Oh, if we had one more mana, we could actually kill. Oh, shoot. That'd be Berserker dead. Which is maybe okay, maybe fine. If Berserker's gonna die, we might as well heal here like that. Can we just say thanks for your help? Bye bye. We could do something like a little bit of a um one of them too. Wait, here's what we do. Here's what we do. No. Nah. nah, right? Do that do that first. We do the heal first, we do this one first. And then we go bang. Bang. Saved. I don't think we damage them up top yet and summon another Slimer. I don't think we do that right this turn. We have to say we don't get the Slime Queen killed that turn, but I think it'll be okay. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling that less by the moment. Okay. Thank you for your service. At the same time, you're doing you're doing four damage to all 
of these, which I don't care about the statue. For a second. What does this look like? I mean, very bad. Let's try this. Let's only have one. Actually, a bit rough here. We can get the Slimer killed next turn, but, like, it's going to be too late. <gasps> no, it's not. Unless... What does this do for us? Nothing. It's not too... I mean, we're going to be fine. It's not... It's not great to have the splint die as well, because... But they've only got, four, like, four HP. What, what was I going to do, man? They were going to die at some point here. Uh, just at this point, I don't trust. Just hit me with anything. Interesting. Bless you, you freaking son of a gun. You know what? Sure, just because it's fun. Alright, we're good. Okay, we're roll <laughs> rolling that fast and loose now. Okay. Uh, let's pick our curse. I, okay, lead weight. Must be equipped. Replace the top and bottom sides with blank. Lol. Uh, if you have zero mana at the end of the turn, plus one mana. I kind of like that for me. But Hissing Ring is really good. Lol. Lol. I mean, the, the annoying thing is it's an infinite... Theoretically, it's an infinite mode, and deleting that slot forever is a problem. Like, that's the that's the thing. And they won't be a statue forever. That being said, I'm a greedy, selfish boy, and we are not going to be doing this run infinitely, so I'm not too concerned. Hmm. Strict large upgrade. Single use, one poison. Or infinite use, two poison. Obviously, one's better. I don't mind that either. That was like an amazing short-term curse. Oh my god, seeing all these with... We need good chip damage. My cleave. Ah, oh. It's fine. You know who does good chip damage? Uh, killing a freaking skeleton. Bonk, bonk. <laughs> All right, uh, Faye. I've not played Faye in a bit. Uh, with the uh, the blessing we got, that's gonna be so good. That's gonna be so good. I just said we want chip damage. That is the chippiest of chip damage to ever chip. And yeah, we wouldn't. We didn't really need that, anyways. Now that I think about it. Um. Kind of like that, getting that fool out of the way, even though he was going to turn invincible. Should be fine. Nice. I don't really care about adding growth to my side. Well, hip hip hooray. Bonk. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we need. That's what we needed. Bonus max HP is doubled. Wait, what? Bonus max HP? 
bonus max HP is doubled. Plus one max HP. Gotcha. Idol of tricks. Plus one max HP for the, each consonant in your name. I see. I see. Um, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's actually really good. I wish we could get both of those together. Because the Berserker obviously does a lot of damage to himself. Like, not going to help very much for this, but otherwise, yes. I think we can. I think we can swap off the bone now. Man, I thought I downloaded the new patch. Oh my god, I did download the new patch, but I I launched the wrong one. Gotcha. <laughs> so okay, that's what it was. I downloaded the new one, but I I, I um imported slice and dice to launch through Steam. Like I have, I bought it on itch, and I but it. I set it so it launches through Steam, and I forgot to swap. That's right. I forgot to swap the launch. <laughs> Could actually get a kill here, which is cool. This is... Ooh. Monk. Fine. Because apparently new fanatics are not going to have this. They're going to only have this. Which I am all freaking for. I hadn't considered them to be overpowered. But I'm not going to argue with a, uh, a kill upon them. A kill upon their strength. Just like, get out of here, punk. just doesn't make any sense. just doesn't make any sense to you, but it's fun. That's so freaking good. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, thank you. You dumb dumb. See, this is why it's nice to have the statue sometimes, even if they don't have anything. Just, this is a free turn. This is literally just a free turn. In fact, it's a free turn and they are dying. Sharp shot. Almost certainly, right? Bones having 2 HP is so good for this fight. They're going to just start wombo comboing each other. I'd like my cleave. Oh! <laughs> Ow, that hurts. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, Um. so this copies the effect of whatever I used last. Let's go ahead and do this. And then burst. Wait. Oh, I don't have... No, I don't have that freaking... I don't have that anymore. It's fine. It's still too poison. Still too poison, still good. really wanted to cross that threshold. The good news is, yeah, the chain react is going to be palpable. Oh, it's so nice. Blurst indeed. Blurst indeed. Ooh, boy. Maybe good. Less good now. Hmm. Trying to think if I can kill the back line. If I can get the poison on. 
without swapping this over. That'd be the way I would have to do it, which is weird, but hey, there we go. God, yeah, that, that blessing is so freaking good here. Bonk, bonk. Um, we just need you guys gone. And then we can kill you here. Lol. Benevolence! Hey! Allow enemies to flee 20 times. Get the friendship bracelet. Plus two, and it, or wait, plus two empty max HP. Monsters flee if you have five times as much HP of them instead of ten times. Oh, that's what, that's what it is? Oh... Okay, boss armor. Turn one during boss levels at the start of the first turn. Shield two to all enemies. Just on bosses. The fourth dice you use every turn. Every turn gets single use. Oof. Specifically boss fights. Specifically turn one. Two armor. This could be... This is... That's too much to mentally juggle. It just... It's too much to juggle. Add pain and plus two to all sides. Okay. Probably. Or blood amulet. Self heal the left two sides. Ah! Stink. Stink! Why can't I have both? Por que no los dos? I stand by the fact that I think that um, challenges... I've never seen a challenge that I think is valid to take. You know, where enemies are like... Whatever. Enemies are... <laughs> they're, they're very gnarly. Or or, um, or or something where it's like... If you want this item, and it's usually a crappy item, you have to fight three more enemies. I feel like... I stand by the fact that I would sometimes actually take a challenge for when I get to this screen... And I see a godly synergy. There are some times where I'd be like, I would do a challenge if I could take both. I'd do a challenge to take both of these. But I've never seen a challenge, normal challenge offer where, because it's often like a piece, a an item that I'm not sure if I think that I'll find the other piece for. Like the other matching synergy piece, you know? Like, I, if I could take both of these, I, we'd be swimming in dreams, dude. Um. Hmm. Do it. I'm, I, let's do it. Let's do it. Three damage AoE. Five damage death wish. Well, there's a quick way for it to actually be effective. Uh. Yes, yes. Very nice. Spiker does damage on attack. Do I even really care about any of this? Don't know. Don't know. <laughs> Should I do it? Probably not. Is it fun? Absolutely. Wait, you have the bone item? Wait, I put the bone item on you. Actually, you just yes then. Die. Die, loser. <laughs> I forgot I, I put the bone item on them. Um, okay. I'm not played with ace, I don't think. Shield one boost. Target gets plus one. Oh, shield one boost. On a three mana spell. Pretty interesting. Plus three mana triple. Plus three... Or right, three mana times three if this has the same value as the two previously used dice this turn. How many three boppers do I have? I have some, but statistically, it's not going to happen very often. Uh, this is obviously more likely, right? We have a couple two damage sides. Actually? Actually? Actually, we can't. Two damage... Two damage. It's it's actually just as likely, pretty much. I think I take them anyways. Great. Right. 
great, 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 great. Is Thorn immune to magic? It is. Two damage, two damage. Give me the pair. Give me the pair. Give me the pair. Ah! New, <laughs> new gambler just dropped. Oh, uh, we could have had Bolt. Could have had Bolt. It's fine. I'm tempted to put Pain on this instead. Like... Add era to all man and man again signs. Oh god. That's gonna be jank as hell. Uh bonus max HP is tripled. Oh my god. That's um That's pretty that, not pretty darn gnarly. You get plus twelve HP. And we would take away that. Where would we put it? Probably in the statue. I wish you could have a third item right now. Ah. But I kind of like that four damage pain on that there. Nice. into Berserker all of a sudden would be a pretty big wild change. Hmm. I mean... <laughs> I mean, that could be on almost anybody. Put it on the Valkyrie. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think that could work. The Berserker could maybe work, but then uh, what would I do with the, these items? Put it on the sharp shot? Eh. If I had a third item, I would definitely do the pain side on. Obviously, whoever has both of these. We can't have a third item slot. I don't know between these. But now that we have the Valkyrie, that's kind of fun. That's not... Wait. Hmm. 
Oh, it also gives... This gives three on its own. Twenty-eight. Thirty-two health sharp shot. Having the... I feel like having the Valkyrie with that much HP is going to be really nice since they have this. And the, the Valkyrie Berserker combo is pretty spicy. Sure. Sure. I need some mana. Um, you have a two side? You do have a two side. Please, 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 please. Let's go. Bing, bang. Bing, bang, huge. <laughs> Don't love it, but hey. Extra shielding. Wait, how's the shielding work with this? Could we? Hmm. Hmm. Bleh. Huge. That's so good. That's an instant kill on the slate. We don't have to mess with the mana stuff. Hey, why not? Come on. Come on, Valkyrie. Thank you. Bing, bang, huge. Boom. Boom. Immune. Then we should be able to bolt, bolt. Bolt, 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 bolt. Single cleanse. All heroes add single use to all cleanse sides. Maximum of two spells cast per turn? No, I will take single cleanse. I don't... That's irrelevant right now. Again, if this was going for a long-term scaling, that's spooky. Prism add rainbow to the middle left side. Bonus equal to the number of keywords. Which enhanced wand is nice. Single use perma boost shield. It's nice, but who would I use it on? Herbalist. I think I'm <laughs> add weaken and pain to the top and bottom sides. Uh, lol. Having a weekend on those is pretty fun. Hmm. That single-handedly destroys a lot of bosses, you know? Hard to believe I don't want this. I find it very hard to believe I don't want this. Should I do that? I like my mana. I, that activates the double very often. You know what? This I'm gonna do this because it helps activate the double more often. That that's I'm gonna do it that way. I think I was on the fence about that trade, but that that pushes it over the limit just a little bit. Little weird. Interesting. Do we have any other threes? Yes. I'm giving it a shot then. Wow, me. Give me a three. Mm.
If I had boost. If I had boost. If I had the plus one boost. Actually, I wouldn't be able to work it. That would have been... That would have been spooky. Okay, um... I wish I could boost this up. I could get some real damage going now. Welcome to the Space Jam. All right. I do like a zombie dying in one. That is really nice. I think it's fine. It's a, that's a lot of material off their side now. Um, I think we just go for it. Something doesn't save. Okay. That saves you from dying, right? Or it could? I think the Berserker going down is... is... okay. Uh, oh, there we go. Huge, huge, huge. Huge, huge. Wanderer. <laughs> Pain plus two to quad use. Oh, imagine. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Herbalist is fun mostly for the spell. Revive the topmost defeated ally. Deplete. I mean, that could be worthwhile. I, I mean, like, here's the thing. If I ditch this, then I lose the Wanderer. <sighs> I'm not gonna infinitely say no to having a new hero there. Feels like a dumb idea. No hero for the rest of the entire time. No thank you. Does that work? It does. Wish I had the triple, but I did not. Yeah, just getting them out of the way, because there's so many more imps, but the imps only have 2 HP. God, we, we actually don't care that much about summoners. That's I just keep on forgetting that that does not bother us as much. Anybody have a triple? You have a triple? Ooh, boy. We'd rather kill that. Mm. 
Nice. Engage the middle column. Times two versus targets at full HP. What the heck? Two right sides with cleave. Wait, replace the two right sides with add cleave and single use to target sides this turn. Rough. Very rough. Engage. Could be good on these. I think I'm going to do this. You are a weird character on this fight right now. Oh, boy. Okay, you know what? That's. I think that's about as good as we're going to get. I don't know what the heck you guys do, really. I might be able to do it with the right... You know? You know. Oh, my God. 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 You know what we got? We just got it. Holy crap. Wait. Shoot. You know what? Perish. See if I care. I have to. I had to, right? Like, you don't You don't say no to that. You can't. You have to do that. What do I do now, though? Like, I'm not sure, but I ha you have to do that. Ten damage and a cleave? Yes. Just, yup. We'll make the rest of it work. We'll probably find a way to revive him. Mid-fight, even. Not that that really does much. For us here. If we had vine. All right, very cool. The hand. All heroes plus one to all sides. The heck? Okay, brawler... Brawler with demonic deal on those is actually pretty fun. We do lose this... I, being realistic, five damage that we can reuse, five damage that we, weakens, it, it's tricky, we really need the Valkyrie to make it work, but we needed the Valkyrie to make it work anyways, oh, my god, <laughs> um <laughs> Oh god this is not good Fourteen damage cleave. Why would this character need uh need to give us a handicap? Oh man, I, I wouldn't know. I couldn't I just, I can't quite figure it out. This is 12 damage and and then it dies. So that's that's at least something. That one's going away. That one's stunning. Um That's still really good because it should Uh, should weaken them all. That that was just bad. That's just bad. I don't say this just uh, it's just this rough
Really? Do we want them dead from that or no? Really, really rough. Really, really rough first turn. What the hell is this boss? What the hell is this boss? What would this do for us, really? It's just, it's nothing. Cleave. <laughs> so the question is, do we want them to die there? We can't save them either way. They either, you know, do it and then they die, or then... Yeah, that's just... This is really annoying. This is just a very annoying amount of damage. A 14 cleave is... A wee bit high. So it's either gonna die. Like, you either die or you're dead already. It's one of the two. We just need to roll that side. We need to roll that side because um, that's so stupid. Oh my god. Legendary. That's obviously the best we could have like gotten, right? There's operate. I don't think we actually had enough to operate. I think I'd rather kill here. That makes more sense. Petrify 15. Okay, well, the Valkyries... The Valkyries as good as dead anyways. Which is a big shame. We, we don't say we can't save them if we do it that way save the ace or save the sharp shot I guess save the sh sharp shot well the sharp shot's getting full petrify Like, we're getting completely... Like, they high-rolled double. Sharp Shot is getting fully petrified. We have to keep that in mind. What a freaking first turn that was. Holy moly. It's not single use, is it? Nope. Really good. Because then we can do that. That buys us an entire free turn. What does this look like? We need one of our other sides. We need one of the weakens. I don't know what to say. Three extra saber. Yeah, this is... This fight seems kind of 
I don't know, uh, dumb. <laughs> am I am I wrong? Full petrify? Often? I don't know, dude. This is. Kinda cringe. Um. That obviously helps a lot. You're dying, aren't you? Like, I can't. I can't save you, no matter what here, right? Who's doing this damage? You're doing that damage. I don't know about that. I just... What the hell? What the hell is that? I need to save the surgeon so that I can then revive the brawler. So to save the I can't I can't save the surgeon. You kidding me? Look at that. Oh, I can save the surgeon. If I if I go all out and then completely waste the sharp shot die. I think what I do is um I think I re-roll the sharp shot die. I don't know, I'll probably get an X, but yeah, or, or that. Um, it's a lost cause. Like, this is just, this was just way too much. 14 cleave with three sabers on the field on turn one? I don't know. That's a lot. It's more than I'm used to, for sure. For sure, for sure. Oh! That counts. That counts. Oh, wait, that's actually really interesting. That could mean that could mean something. That could mean something. It's not enough to like do the big thing. Like we can't get the big kill. We would theoretically do it this way, I guess. The ace, is, the ace is dying no matter what. Be careful, they say, as as you die. We could also shield... Well, no, we don't want to shield boost before. Or it wouldn't really matter. Five damage bolts. It does not get to save us. We literally just have to shield ourselves. And I was going to say, and hope we get three mana, but how do we get three... How would we get three mana this turn? I don't think that... I don't think it's... But we don't have... Ooh, we do have a way to. Uh, do we have to just hope for the poison? I just don't think... I. We have to high roll it. Like, we have to... <laughs> yeah. Um. What the hell is this boss? What the hell is this boss? A little ridiculous, don't you think? We made it pretty far, all things considered, on the fight. But, but yeah, again, what the hell? <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. I don't get the balance on, uh, on this one. Maybe it's supposed to be, like, because this is, this is the final of the bosses, yeah? Oh, I... 
it's not showing up here, but like I guess it would be it would theoretically be like this, the the final unlock one. So is it supposed to be a trickier fight? I don't know. I've never seen it before. Um Yikes. I mean we are we're dead. We don't have we obviously can't do anything on this turn. Could we have was there a uh, alternate reality world where we could have gotten to the spot where we got the hand killed? Yeah, maybe. Um, it maybe would have relied on us keeping the Berserker at level 2. Um, but hey, it's fine. I'll take it. I would say it was, it was, a, it was a, a fair fair enough... Uh, yeah, I mean, high score 20. Okay, I was wondering how that would work. So it's not just like a win, because there is no win. It's It's a high score thing. It's a very cool mode that I imagine randomizes the final boss. I don't think that's just the final boss every time. Um, but theoretically, so it's the same as curse mode, meaning after that boss, if we beat that boss, we would get an another blessing. And then we would go through the other loops of getting extra, extra curses, which would slowly, I imagine, scale up in difficulty. Like, maybe the next loop around, they'd be level 2 difficulty. Every curse we got there was level 1 difficulty. So it was, like, a lot little minor minor things. Uh, this is a very fun... As far as infinite scaling modes go, this is, uh, this is a pitch that I can get behind. I am curious what happens on the second loop through for the, you know, the areas where you would normally get hero level ups. Do you just get more item options, or do you get nothing? I'm I'm assuming you maybe get nothing. I don't know though. Either way, that is that. What is cursed hyper? Gain a curse at the start and a curse after every fight and a blessing after Jesus. Oh my! Wow, wow, wow! But alas, alas, that is that. That is gonna do it here for today. Check out the channel, Roblox and more every single day. If you'd be sad to see the series go, you really do have to let me know in the form of a comment down below, like. I've said the past few days here, I'm monitoring how the series is going uh, very, very closely at this point. I'm um, trying to decide if we continue or not. We've got like 23, 24 episodes under the belt uh, or something like that. 23? I don't know. Uh, episodes under the belt and we are, you know, we're obviously seeing the kind of 20 episode slump that st starts to happen. So there may be a, a situation where this goes, uh, goes softly into the sweet tonight at some point here. Uh, but I have adored every second of it. If uh, if we do if we do stop, but there's a lot of cool stuff, and this is just it's one of the best, uh, uh, most underrated strategy relics out there. I, like I say that at the start of every episode, I mean it. Like every single time I say it, there's a reason I wanted to make sure I made that like the intro for the series, because I need that to be an important thing that gets tied to slice and dice. When I hear people talking about like on you know there's like a Reddit thread, people like. What are some underrated strategy roguelikes? I want people to then have that little thing in their head. They go, bing, slice and dice. Like, be, uh, that's what I want. I, that's why I do that. That's why I say that in the beginning. I want that to be tied to this game. Until it's not true anymore. Because it's not underrated. <laughs> like, I want there to be, you know, you have the, whatever. Reddit threads, Twitter threads, whatever the heck. Social media, if someone says... What's an underrated game? I'm looking for uh, I'm looking for a game that's not just one of the games that everybody's playing right now. You know, what's an underrated strategy game? What's an underrated strategy roguelike? What's an underrated roguelike just in general? I want Slice and Dice to be in that conversation uh, so desperately because it really does appeal. Like it's an appealing game to to the masses, and there's so much customizability and flexibility to it uh, that you can really enjoy it at any skill level as well. Truly. But last, last, that is that. It's going to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for roguelikes and more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye.